Hey guys, it's Tony with Peaceful Living. Sorry I haven't been on a while. I hope everybody's having a fantastic Friday. Uh, sorry for the no makeup today, but I'm having a girly day with my mother-in-law today. So we're doing uh, facials and um, makeup. So we're going to get all duded up and, uh, and then we're going to go out tonight. But I thought I'd come on and talk a little bit about my January ER. It came in, so that's always exciting. Uh, and then I'll show you a couple of... Um, items that I'm going to make for my girly day today. One of them is a facial serum that I use every morning and the other is my makeup spritzer. So hopefully I have everything here with me and we can go ahead and do those. But anyways, I thought I'd talk about what I got in my ER this month. Uh, if anybody knows me, you know that this time of year we are in our travel trailer. So we rent our house in southwest Florida and then we kind of move around Florida in our travel trailer. So as you can see behind me, we're we're in our travel trailer um, and I think it may come becomes even more important when you're when you're in a travel trailer to make sure you have time for yourself in those girly moments and I'll share a quick story with you my husband and I the other night were sleeping we woke up about three o'clock in the morning both of us wide awake for some ungod reason no reason so we got up I uh, made a cup of tea and uh, put a little lavender on the on the tea uh, the, the thingy that I put my tea in before I steep it and put a little lavender on our toes and we sat up for about a half an hour relaxed a little bit had our tea went back to bed both slept like rocks so young living lavender oil for the win but anyways give me one second I'm gonna go ahead and get set up on my computer so that I can see everyone that's on so bear with me I want to I want to invite some people <clears throat> Okay, well, I'm not being able to, I have a pole that came up in the middle here. Not sure where that is or why that's there, but I'm going to go ahead and end this and I will, I guess I'll come back because I can't figure out how to make it go away. Ah, there we go. We are not inviting anybody today for some reason. Anyways, let's talk about what I got in my ER. So I'm very excited. The Orange Blossom Face Wash was back in stock. I was able to get it on my ER. That's going with me today because, as I said, we're doing facials today. So Orange Blossom Face Wash, if you haven't used it, you should try it. Get it while it's in stock because it tends to go out of stock quite a bit. I've waited for a few months trying to, uh, trying to get it, and it's been out of stock. So it came in. Uh, I saw it in stock, quickly added it to my ER, and I actually processed my ER early this month, so I made sure this did not go out of stock before my ER process. So, Orange Blossom Face Wash is good stuff. And it's going with us today, or going with me today, uh, to have my girly day. Uh, Cordistop. Now, so I haven't used this yet. Let's see if you can see that. Sorry, my lighting is terrible in the trailer. Uh, Cordistop, from what I understand, from listening and watching... The girls uh, in my oily groups talk about this this is the stuff that that you take I call it crazy woman stuff right so we all have those days where you just feel like your your uh, <clears throat> your aura or your mind uh, you're just having one of those days crazy woman day and this stuff is supposed to work miracles for that so if anybody watches today uh, even after the video is over if you have experience with quarter stop uh, feel please feel free to comment about it. I've seen all good things about it, and I see all kinds of uh, people talking about where they're using it at work and, and just using it at home to try to keep their selves even and my, their, um, uh, their mind <laughs> going from crazy woman. So I am trying this this month. Hi, Whitney. So I'm excited about that. I'll let you know uh, how it works for me uh, uh, after I've had a, a, t a chance to try it. But again, there's a lot of girls in here that do use it, so if anybody wants to comment on that, it'd be great. 
So Cordostop that came in my ER this month. My Life 9, so if you ever watch my lives, you'll see I this is in my order every month. My Life 9 is a uh, Young Living Probiotic. I actually took it into my general practitioner and talked about it, and she said it's the best one that she's ever seen, the amount of active culture in it. Uh, and it absolutely keeps, uh, uh, it's, I call it for gut health, right? So it just uh, keeps me healthy. I haven't been sick, and I don't remember the last time I'm sick, but... Everyone should take a probiotic, including children, but um, um, Life9, if you haven't tried Life9 with Young Living, give it a try. Um, I'm a spokesperson for it because it, it, it works wonders for me. And what else did I get? Uh, Juvitone. So uh, we all do terrible things to our liver, right? Our liver is, is what keeps, our, um, uh, keeps us clean on the inside, and Juvitone helps keep the, uh, the liver healthy. So I use this, I don't use it every day, I use it every other day, I take two tablets, uh, and it works wonders for me. I can tell when I stop taking it, I start to feel really bloated and, and um, not well, I guess for the lack of a better term, but Juvitone, if you haven't tried it, give it a try. I mean, if, you, if you're on ER and you have points that you want to use, you can try it that way so you don't feel so bad, or if you're in my downline, uh, uh, just make some comments below. I'm happy to send you some uh, a few of them. So Juvitone is to keep liver healthy. And then I also got uh, DJI's, which if you ever use it, tastes absolutely terrible, but works like a charm. Uh, I use it when you start to get a stomach bug. Of course, I put thieves in my diffuser and a little bit of DJI's. I've used it on my the tip of my finger and put it in my belly button. If I feel like, you know, you have when you're surrounded at work or you're surrounded at home with um, stomach viruses, this is the stuff to use. I also use it for if you go out to dinner, because I'm quite good when I eat at home. I can control more portion control quite well. But when I go out, I'm never good. So you go out. I went to Taco Tuesday the other night with our mother-in-law and father-in-law. And, you know, you just eat too many tacos so you come back and you're feeling bloated and your stomach just doesn't feel right you take a little bit when it's open uh, you just take a little bit tip the bottle over so you just put like a, just a drop on your finger touch the top of your mouth and like I said it is absolutely horrid tasting it only lasts about 30 seconds or so but you will feel your stomach immediately start to settle it's got heavy ginger and uh, uh, it's a great blend for our stomach so um, give it a try if you haven't used it and I know it does taste terrible I'll tell you that up front. For me, anyways, it does. Some people will put a drop in their water, mix it, and drink it. I just rather get it over with. So I just put a drop on my finger, put it on top of my mouth, and usually uh, uh, take a swish of water after that. It just settles your stomach. So it's good when you're getting a stomach flu kind of thing to help the stomach. Uh, but also, I use it more for when I go out to eat and I don't eat well. <laughs> and I feel like I'm like, when I get back. So DJ's. And I got this free uh, on my ER this month. So today what I'm going to do is I'm going to make um, some DIY. You'll notice in the, in the um, uh, introduction I said I'm going to do some DIY face stuff because I'm doing a, face, a facial day or a girly day with my mother-in-law. And I'm out of some things that I need. What I'm taking with me though is this guy right here. Sorry about that. Orange Blossom Face Wash. Try that again. There we go. Orange Blossom Face Wash. Uh, so wash our face and then I'm going to use a satin uh, the satin face scrub if you haven't tried this this is wonderful I use this twice a week keeps all the dead skin off of and just makes your face feel really fresh because it's got mint in it uh, and then we're gonna do a clay mask where I'm gonna use I'm gonna mix the clay mask I just went out and bought regular clay you know facial clay uh, and I'll use frankincense and myrrh in that with a little bit of lavender because the frankincense obviously is fantastic for your face so we're going to wash with the orange blossom we're going to scrub with the mint scrub then we're going to use a clay mask that will have frankincense myrrh and a little bit of lavender in it uh, every morning after I wash my face in the morning I always take a couple of drops of uh, frankincense on my wet hand swoosh it like this and then put it on my face loves it it's great for fine lines it's great for keeping the redness out of your face so I'm going to use a little Frank in the in the clay mask uh, before we put it on. So that'll be our first part of our, our girly day. And then we're going to um, get made up. So I have uh, uh, Savvy Minerals uh, foundation, 
<clears throat> excuse me, and we're going to, I told my mother-in-law I would do her, I would do her makeup because she wants to really try a mineral foundation without all the chemicals of, of the liquid foundation that you find. So I will, we're going to get ourselves all duded up and then hopefully our husbands will think we're beautiful and take us out to eat later. So that's the plan. So the first thing we're going to make today, and you have to bear with me because I have to look up these recipes as I do it, is I have a makeup spritzer, just, just a two ounce spray bottle. And as you can see, my I've had this bottle for a while. My label's coming off. But just a two ounce um, spray bottle. And we're going to make a makeup spritzer. So when you're using mineral makeup, um, a makeup spritzer is kind of important. I put it on before I start with the minerals. And then I put some mineral on. And then I spray in between. So depending on how um, uh, heavy I want that mineral makeup, because it tends to be light, I will do multiple um, <clears throat> multiple layers, if you want to call it that, and I use a spritzer in between. The other thing, the reason I go through spritzers so quickly is I travel a lot for business, and I don't know about you, but when you get on an airplane, my skin just feels dry from, I don't know what it is on the airplane, but uh, I, I carry it with me because it's it's Again, it's a two-ounce spray bottle, so they don't bother me in TSA. I keep it in my purse, and I use it to spritz my face. So even if I have makeup on, I use it to spritz my face. I'll spritz my arms. It just you know, makes me feel fresh. Um, but this is a makeup spritzer, and I use it specifically uh, with the um, Young Living uh, Savvy Minerals. So bear with me. Let me look up those recipes. If I had any planning ability, I would have these looked up before I got on live. But, you know, I'm Tony. You know me. So if you're in this group, which you are if you're watching this live, um, under files in this group, <clears throat> you will find all the recipes for everything I do live. As well as a lot of stuff what I share on my page as well. So you can go into the files and you'll, there's, I call it recipes to share. So all of my recipes are in there. This particular recipe is also in there. And there's multiple versions of it. I got a face toner in there. But today specifically we're making the makeup spritzer. Okay. Okay. So... little bottle. Uh, I actually have, if you look at the makeup spritzer online, I have a witch hazel in it. Uh, so bear with me. Let me go grab my witch hazel. I did forget that. Witch Hazel and you'll use equal parts water and Witch Hazel. Witch Hazel is just a drying agent. And I play around with this too so depending on what kind of what kind of mood I'm in um, I will use different oils in my in my um, face spritzer. Okay, we use the, the rest of water. Okay, so easy enough, right? Equal parts witch hazel and water. And then I'm going to use three drops of lavender. Three drops of frankincense. So, 
as an example, I just um, I just actually got out of the shower. You can tell my hair is a little wet. Uh, normally, what I would do in the morning, I haven't done it yet, so I'll do it with you. Is my hands are just a little bit wet. You see, just a little bit wet. Take two drops of Frank, three drops, whatever gets on there. Rub it just like this, and then put it on. I'm telling you, your face will love it. My face absolutely loves it. Okay. So there's the frankincense. So three drops of frankincense. And three drops of copaiba. by Eva, and I'm sure I'm saying that wrong. And then for me personally, I like lime. I think it's very fresh. Uh, some people use lemon. I'm going to use lime. And I'm sorry, two drops of lime. Some people have a sensitivity to citrus so be careful but I, I like the freshness of it so when I'm spritzing it on it just smells so fresh in case you're wondering what I'm reaching over here I'll show this to you I love this thing by the way remember I'm in a trailer and we're, we're traveling so I have to protect all my lovely oils but I got this on Amazon you can see all my bottles of oil they all have their labels on the top because I'm a little anal that way and they're all in alphabetical order but I got this thing on Amazon I zip it up and ta-da, there's all my oils. They travel nicely and safely. That's what I'm reaching in. Normally, if I'm at home, you'll see I have a big wooden rack that says oils on it, and I keep all my oils in that in alphabetical order again. Uh, but this is what I travel with. So this is done. And with any oils, as you're making these, um, well, don't you love it, Tammy, right? I love that thing. Put your spray bottle back together and I'm sorry for my label but again this one's she's been around a while she's traveled all over the place with me and with any oil as before you use it um, make sure you shake it right because oil tends to separate you want your face to get the full uh, feeling of it and that's how I apply it so when I'm applying my makeup I apply my first layer and again, depending on how heavy I want it that day, if I'm going out in the evening or if it's just for daytime for work, um, I'll put on a little lighter. But then I put my mineral makeup on and I spray it again. And then when I'm done putting it on, um, I spray it again to almost set it. But that works for me. It's a lot less expensive than buying a makeup spritzer. And you got the stuff at home. So um, I'll share when I get off uh, the video. I will post the two recipes that I'm making today. One is a DIY makeup spritzer and the other one's a serum. Um, but again, you can find them under files in this group anytime. That's where I put them. Uh, make it easier. So they're kind of on demand when you look for them. You can find them, you can download them, that kind of stuff. So that was the makeup spritzer. The next one I'm going to make is a serum. Now the serum is I actually learned this one from my daughter. So you, you, I take a, it's, I put it in a roller just because it's easier for me. You can put it in a dropper. I think my daughter uses it in a dropper bottle. But I put it in a roller. I roll it onto my hands, like this, onto my palm. There's hardly any in there. Um, and then I apply it. All right. So you don't want really to want to stretch your skin. Uh, but this is a, uh, it moisturizes, keeps everything nice and uh, even toned, and helps with those fine lines. And there's Frank in all of this, by the way, so you'll, you'll see I'm, I'm, Frank is like liquid gold to me. But great for your face. And I splurged in December, I think, and I bought Rose. <laughs> so I've been with Young Living over two years now, and I just could not bring myself to buy Rose. You can't buy it on a... Um, uh, with your points. I think it's just too coveted, but uh, I did get rose, which is smells amazing. I never diffuse it. Oh, well, okay. That's a lie. I did diffuse it uh, one time because I just, it was in my office at home and I wanted to just 
smell rose. So uh, I did get rose, which is fantastic for your skin. Uh, you'll see like rose hip oil or rose water. A lot of people use. My daughter uses rose water in her spritzer instead of just regular water. Um, but rose is, is also very good. Do Google it and, and Google, you know, rose essential oil skin care. And you'll see that it is in a lot of high end uh, skin care. So I did, I did splurge last month and buy it in December and buy it. And it is amazing. It will be in my, in my serum as well. You don't have to use it. I've made the serum without it. Uh, but it's, it's beautiful. I don't know how else to say that. So bear with me one second. Let me find it. but I'll find it. I don't remember what I named it. goodness my apologies I will find it see so like my Lady Gaga shirt this is my hanging at home today shirt <clears throat> resolutions this year is organization. I try. I think most of the time I am pretty organized, but boy, sometimes I just throw myself for a loop. Well, you might have to wing it. All right, one more time, and then I promise I'll just wing it and give you an idea. And then I'll find it and I'll actually post the recipe. You can use any carrier oil you, you, you like. Um, I've used coconut oil. Uh, my face honestly tends to like olive oil. So I'm um, saying as I always have olive oil, I use that. Uh, I've used grapeseed oil. I've used uh, rosehip oil, which is what I'm going to use today. So again, I put mine in a roller. <clears throat> you don't have to do that. Um, as I said, you could use a dropper and just put it into your hand. Hey, hey, Anna. Um, but I put mine in a roller because I travel with it, so it's just easier for me to slide into my purse or into my makeup bag, which is I'm carrying today to do my um, my girly day with my mom. So here's just simple rose hip oil. But if you don't have rose hip oil, again, whatever carrier oils you have uh, that your skin reacts good with because people are different. Uh, 
I don't tend to have sensitive skin, so I've tried all different ones. As I mentioned, grapeseed oil, almond oil, uh, olive oil, coconut oil. Uh, I've never had any problems with any of them. But rosehip oil is, is just nice, so it's also my new obsession. Okay, simple. Fill the bottle with rosehip oil. As with every facial, actually most every uh, concoction I make, there's always lavender in it. So I'm going to put five drops of lavender. I am going to re-pull frankincense. Take myrrh. So, frankincense, myrrh. If you don't have myrrh, just double the frankincense. Five drops of frank. Actually, you know what? It's not. It's not myrrh. Let's try that one more time. It's manuka. Manuka. Five drops of manuka. Because I bought it and I love it. Again, you can don't have to put this in here. Try it again. The rose. Oh my god. It's so pretty. Just makes you feel like a girl. And I only put three drops of rose in. Luckily, it's a thick oil. Three drops of rose. And I will find the recipe and I will post it in this video because I do have it. Uh, but simple as that. Put your roller back on the top when you can find it. Uh, here we go. A saper. And as with any oil concoction, mix it before you use it. And I promise you, your skin will love this. Uh, I will uh, use it in the morning under my makeup. Uh, I also have been known to take a little bit on my finger, just put it in the corners of your eye. Again, just put it, you can put it on your fingers like this, and you'll see the color, the, you have a little bit of an orangey color uh, from the, uh, from the rosehip oil. Fingers together. Put it on. Just let it sit. It'll soak in. Uh, you can put your makeup on right over it. Does not make your face oily, surprisingly enough, because I have oily skin by nature. So I was really worried when I started using all this stuff on my face <clears throat> that I would end up with um, really oily skin. Uh, my makeup would look oily, uh, but it doesn't. In fact, it's the exact opposite, so I've learned this the hard way in my life. Um, my husband from <laughs> uses alcohol on his face to wash his face, and it just makes your, your skin greasy, right? By, by giving... The right oils to your skin 
your skin will stop producing the oil that you find where you get shiny nose and shiny right in this area, a shiny forehead specifically for me. Uh, but once you start giving your skin the uh, oils that are good for it, then it stops making that oil that drives us all crazy so we don't have to blot so much during the day. So what we've made today is a, a facial serum slash eye serum that I use. use it every day in the morning before I put my makeup on. Uh, again, I talked about putting Frank on. Uh, and I've made the makeup spritzer. So I really appreciate you guys coming out today. I'm sorry I wasn't quite as organized, organized as I normally am. Uh, but when I finish this video, uh, close it down, I will um, post the, the recipes so you can find them. But you can also go into files in this group and you will see um, uh, the recipes that I share. As well as under videos, this video will be under there eventually. But a lot of DIY videos, uh, I've done a papaya face mask, I've done all kinds of crazy uh, 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 DIYs for the face and that kind of stuff. So under videos, you'll find my DIY videos. Under files, you'll find my recipes to share. Thanks for coming out. Uh, if you have any questions, PM me. I'm happy to help. Have a great day, everyone.